Hey everyone, thanks for having me today. My name is Kyle and today we're going to be using the Rapid API to do a create payment request for bank redirect. Uh, before we start, I want to encourage you to check out our developer community in one of the links below uh, where you can ask uh, all sorts of questions about Rapid's payment methods, including bank redirect, bank transfer, um, uh, card payments, or basically anything fintech. Uh, just connect with other developers at community.rapid.net. Um, so create payment request, bank redirect. Uh, this means the consumer or end user checks out on your page and redirects to a URL to log into their bank to make a push payment um, uh, as they log into their bank using their own credentials. And this is all happening um, through the checkout workflow. Uh, and so as we head over to our way on the uh, bank redirect guides in use cases page, um, here is everything you need to know about the use case, the workflow it has a GIF right here on, on kind of what it looks like, as well as a demo that you can test in sandbox here with the credentials, the username and password. Uh, heading over to our API reference guide, here is the create payment request it's a post request um, it has all the uh, parameters and definitions uh, you can head over here uh, and click on where I've clicked on uh, payment by bank redirect to see the uh, body request as well as the response here uh, it's about a little bit less than halfway down payment by bank redirect and you can see everything here I actually copy and pasted this today and just replace some of the values, the payment method, uh, currency, as well as the e-wallet. Um, and then if you go up to bank redirect payment message sequences, here is the API sequence that you uh, can see as uh, the steps are listed below on what the, the sequence looks like. And so heading over to Postman, we're gonna begin testing for our create payment request bank redirect. And so the first thing I'm going to do is create a wallet. Um, so I'm gonna search wallet and a personal wallet. And so I just have my information here. Uh, Samson Smith is the contact um, or the owner of the wallet. And this is just an e-wallet reference ID um, as the merchant, as, as a client within your system um, can reference that specific wallet within with your own unique identifying uh, value. And so I'm going to send that and it looks like it's successful. And then I'm going to grab this e-wallet, uh, the wallet ID here, and then head over to bank redirect uh, complete payment. And uh, I have this, you may not have um, this bank redirect uh, payment in your Postman collection. Uh, what I basically did is go to bank, a payment by bank transfer, duplicate, renamed it uh, bank redirect, and then pasted in uh, the payload, what was in our API reference guide, and then changed some of the values. And so, um, we're using a, a bank in Mexico to redirect, as well as uh, the currency here, MXN. Um, and then, so I'm going to paste in this e-wallet here. All right, and there we go. Uh, and what you can do to look for a payment method type is go list, oh, list payment methods by country and just MX for Mexico. And then right here, here is a, a bank redirect um, payment method. And then the type would be um, this listed here. So you can just copy that um, and then paste it into um, the type as you are testing. And so, yeah, we can uh, send that here. And it looks like it's successful. And so what I'm going to do is click this redirect here. And here we have just the interface. You can uh, 
do a success or error. Uh, I'm going to do a success. And then, of course, it's going to redirect to the URL completion, uh, which is rapid.net. Um, that's, again, listed here. Complete payment URL. Uh, and I'm going to do another payment. Um, let's make this uh, 44. And so this is a payment that is active, so it hasn't completed yet. Um, this is the payment ID. And so what I can do is complete payment by bank redirect and then just paste it in here. Um, and so now uh, by API that the status of this payment uh, amount 44 would be closed and that would be completed. I'm going to head over to our client portal and check out these payments. And so here is the bank redirect. Um, this was the first amount, 1,235. Um, you can click on it and see more details. The amount here, it's closed and completed the payment ID. Here's the payment method type. Um, and then the e-wallet owner. Uh, Samson Smith. Going back here is the one that we completed uh, with the API call. Uh, uh, 44 is the amount. Uh, again, the same information here. Uh, Samson Smith, a different payment uh, ID, the same method type. Um, and so, yeah, that is uh, payment, um, uh, create payment request by bank redirect. Um, if you have any questions, you are uh, welcome to post in our um, community at community.rapid.net. I'm here just on the category all things fintech where you can post about anything uh, as well as you can reach out to us or follow us on Twitter at Rapid Payments. Uh, be sure to use uh, the hashtag Rapid Bytes. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, have a great day.